bringing a little sparkle back to North Dakota today. With us now, we have Meg Morley, Mrs. North Dakota America 2019, to talk about her platform. And, uh, of course, this month is heart month so that's uh, close to your heart as well with your platform so first let's talk a little bit though about the organization if people are not familiar with mrs north dakota america well thank you lisa for having me on today um i am the current mrs north dakota america um that's part of the uh, mrs america system uh the hashtag is we are family it is the uh premier pageant for married women across the country it's uh just a experience of a lifetime and we just stand for so many things look this is a great picture of uh well and is that you there that yes. is me and my husband that's okay. mr north dakota right there all right yes. and i love your dress thank you uh talk a little bit about when now you told me in the break you're from grand forks when I did am. you get into uh this pageant uh program um i started as mrs grand forks um a little over a year ago, probably last fall of 18, beginning of 19, is when I became Mrs. Grand Forks. Then I competed last June for Mrs. North Dakota. Then I went on to Las Vegas and with these fine ladies and competed for the title of Mrs. America. I love that. Okay, and I alluded to this. Your platform is Congenital Heart Defect Awareness. That's right. Yes. So talk a little bit about why you decided that should be your platform. Well, a cause very near and dear to my own heart. Uh, I was diagnosed in 2016 with a serious congenital heart defect as an adult, which is rare. Um, but I was having some other health issues and it was discovered that I had a very large hole in my heart that I had been born with that had gone misdiagnosed my entire life. I was diagnosed with asthma and other things that was completely misdiagnosed and they found it and it was causing a lot of problems so I had open heart surgery to do a repair on that. Wow that is an interesting story. Yes. And so you know all year round but especially uh, in February yes. this is a, a great topic. Yes it is and uh, the topic of especially adult congenital heart defect awareness is so important because there are a lot of people that have gone misdiagnosed and one thing people need to remember is that even if you have the repair surgery, that doesn't mean you're you're healed. That doesn't mean you're cured. Oh, that's me and my mom right there. Oh, I love that picture. <laughs> and so that's someone near and dear to my heart. <laughs> and it's it's something that's going to require specific, uh, specific care the rest of my life. I go to Mayo Clinic, the wonderful team of doctors there that are taking care of my heart for the rest of my life. Uh, so you told me that you were crowned in June. Can you tell us some of the events and some of the places you have been and, and oh. spoke on, on your platform? I've just had a wonderful, wonderful year. Um, I was able to speak not only in Las Vegas at my pageant to the judges about my platform, but I have also started um, sort of an awareness group called Meg's Mended Hearts that I am willing to talk to anybody and everybody about being a heart warrior, congenital heart defect awareness. I've teamed with some other, uh, like a nonprofit that is the Adult Congenital Heart Defect Association. Um, other, there's Mayana's Heart. Uh, we're just heart warriors across the country. We all band together. And I've spoken to parents of heart warriors, other young, old, every age. Uh what would be, you kind of touched on this, what would be your message to people at home um, if they haven't been taking care of their heart or they think that they have some symptoms that, that could be more than what they think? Absolutely get it checked out. I had no idea t as to the seriousness of my defect. Um, when I had my open heart surgery, my surgeon, I had it done here at Sanford, and my surgeon, Dr. Newman, came out and told my husband that she could have dropped change through the hole in my heart. It was so big. And because I had... Uh, been walking around with it for my entire life it had worn out the area around the heart so I had a badly damaged heart and there was there was signs but again I went misdiagnosed so I just absolutely see your doctor I love that message great Thank platform you. and so great to meet you great to meet you anything too. anything else coming up going on as your uh, reign you have a couple months left of your reign here um always looking for places to spread my platform I do a lot on social media and just with the organization itself Meg, so great to meet you. Thank, Thank you, you so much for your time today. Thanks. And uh, from one pageant queen to another, stay with us here on North Dakota Today. We're going to be visiting with Miss Preteen Flickertail International 2020 next.